So this is my all black Christmas tree. I had it up last year and then I used it again for Halloween. So I had Halloween ornaments on it. And I wanted to do the all black Christmas tree again. So I took all the Halloween ornaments off. I added different lights and then I put on the black ornaments. So this is in my dining area. This is a little buffet um, storage unit that I have. So these are various different Christmas trees. In that ornament I bought from Marshalls, which I'll upload the video to that pretty soon. And that I purchased from World Market. It was a mid-century modern house that's right up my alley. chair I have in my living room and uh, keeping with the Christmas tree theme those are Christmas trees so Thanksgiving was yesterday and we still have some Thanksgiving decor up we will change this out for Christmas but I still wanted to show it because I had Halloween decor here and we transitioned it to Thanksgiving so stay tuned for the Christmas like I said we, we are still decorating so these are the various Christmas tree pillows that I purchased from like Ross, Target, and a couple other places. If you all watch my little shorts um, shopping hauls, you'll see them. And then this is one of four Christmas trees. This is a mini Christmas tree that we have on a table next to the sofa, black and white. This is our third Christmas tree this is a black and white and silver Christmas tree this tree we've had some of these ornaments for a very long time um, I think I said in a, another video when my nephew was younger I read that babies could see in black and white so my brother was bringing him home for Christmas and I wanted to put up a Christmas tree that he can enjoy so I purchased a lot of these ornaments. Well, a lot of them are girly, but you know, he was a little baby, he didn't know. And so some of these ornaments are like 18 years old. And it, over the years, whenever I see an ornament that could go with the tree, I purchased it. So yep, yeah, that's a little converse, that's totally me. <laughs> a lot, a lot of shoes. This is really the shoe tree. More high heels, purses, hats, a flask. <laughs> hey, why not? More shoes, more black and white shoes, snowflakes. Some of these ornaments, if you watch my Walmart video, I purchased from Walmart. I was pleasantly surprised when I went there and found a lot of black and white ornaments so I, I did purchase quite a few I wish I, I, I want to go back to buy more but Walmart it's not close to me so unfortunately but I guess I could order online but I think this tree doesn't really need any more ornaments I think it's pretty full so <laughs> a little Jeep ornament camera We have some silver boxes that are gifts under the tree. Fake gifts, but you know they make the they make the tree look pretty, so. A cow. Because why not? A boot. Birds. A lot of silver picks. I love picks. I put picks basically in every Christmas tree except for the black tree but my next Christmas tree I'm going to show you you'll see a whole bunch of picks so this is in my kitchen this is a dish drying mat I do have an Etsy store and this is in my Etsy store I'll put the link below but I'm slowly decorating my kitchen with Christmas items so like I said yesterday was Thanksgiving and then I have to put my Christmas tablecloth out so this is the fourth tree this is my favorite tree because it represents my personality I'm an Aquarius and a little eccentric so this this Christmas tree definitely represents me 
and some of these ornaments you may have seen in some of my shopping haul shorts and in some of them you haven't seen so that's a Thanksgiving turkey a parrot a mystery tree modern ornament any links for anything I'll put in the description of this video my camper ornament I bought from Pottery Barn Coca-Cola a hamburger I bought there from CVS which should be in one of my shorts a burrito from World Market that turtle I think that came from West Elm sewing uh, an old-fashioned sewing machine that came from Joanne's fabrics um, a pressure cooker an avocado because I live in California <laughs> A donut, lasagna, pizza, a macaron, mushroom. I love retro, so that was right up my alley when I saw that. Hot cocoa, a flamingo. I used to live in Florida. A VW bus. I'm going to get one of those one day. A hot dog. I bought that from CVS. More hot cocoa. Ooh, that's an extreme close-up. Sorry. I think that's that was a Vespa, if I'm not mistaken. A mystery tree modern ornament from World Market. A toaster. More mushrooms from that little boho um, store I found. A taco bus. Taco food truck. A pot. Yeah, I think that's a Vespa, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's or a, sco a scooter. A scooter. That came from Sonoma. I live close to Sonoma, so I went there one day and I had to buy an ornament. That came from... I don't know where that came from. That, that's a shopping cart I bought from World Market. A golf cart. A lantern. A lounge chair. A hat. Margarita. A bird. A shoe a pot <laughs> like I said this tree truly represents me a sewing form I bought that from Joann's breakfast I bought that from the boho store and it, it actually is broken I, I, I won't be able to use it next year I think I hit it up against something so I bought that from that that nursery store the ramen noodles so if you see like ultimate christmas store watch that video you'll stay oh that store has so many cool ornaments oh my goodness i have to go back there a donut another camper van more birds a joystick i i am a gamer my initials my name is ray a retro mr true modern chair a shoe strawberry like I said this this tree is very eclectic a tennis shoe or a sneaker yeah this tree definitely represents me lipstick because of how eclectic everything is Starbucks cup a laptop I bought from real market a fish I'm surprised I don't have a cruise ship on there I like I used to go on a whole bunch of cruises before you know what and I'm surprised I don't have a cruise ship or I was I was checking out the ornament that broke oh well I'll, I'll do something with it and an Adirondack chair I hope I pronounced that correctly an outhouse I bought that from Target a couple years ago Flamingo from when I used to live in Florida more birds I don't even like birds but I like them on my Christmas tree so <laughs> Um, I went to Portland or um, Portland, Oregon, Bermuda. I used to travel a lot. My passport. Oh, I need to clip that little thing off of there. Aquarius, because I'm an Aquarius. If you can't tell by this tree, this definitely is, yeah, an Aquarius tree. <laughs> a little ugly sweater. That is from Salt Lake City, Utah. An ornament from there I visited there a couple years ago very pretty and so clean 
because I live near San Francisco and it's like the opposite there. Um, that's from Bermuda, Las Vegas. I love Las Vegas. I could go there every year. I love, love, love. And I don't gamble. I just like going there. It's just so much fun. You don't have to gamble to have fun. A barbecue, grill, more shoes, pineapple, flamingo, more shoes. I guess you can tell I like shoes too. 